What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Day's Game. I'm your host, Gabriel. Today, we are inside of Pumpkin Spice. This is the truck that I leased from Prime, and I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the inside. Now, uh, let me go ahead and uh, turn this camera around. Things may look a little bit different. I am using my uh, GoPro um, Hero 9. I'll go ahead and start with the uh, driver's side area. One of the things that I really liked about this truck, now if you recall from my earlier video, I spent a couple hours pouring over the maintenance records to check for any red flags, any accident repairs, things like that, and everything came up clear outside of um, some minor dings uh, that wouldn't have affected the drivetrain or the engine. Um, I was really happy and so I went ahead and moved forward with the truck. There were things that I was not paying attention to because I was focused more on the maintenance records and uh, the legalese. Now if you look at the, uh, the driver's side area, one of the first things that struck me after the fact was that the uh, this truck has the these curtains uh, right here. They cover the side uh, windows and the front windows um, or the front windshield completely. So what that means is I get 100% privacy while using the entire cabin. I've been on Freightliner. I've been on two Freightliners before this while training, and neither one of them had the the side curtains. There were a couple instances like in the summer where I thought keeping the sun out from the cabin would have helped a bit with the AC. This uh, sleeper berth separator, I've got Velcro together. And so what that means is when I close it, it'll extend all the way to the other side and I won't have to mess with the Velcro action uh, in between. Um, in other words, it's almost like one single curtain uh, that closes the entire area. You'll note that my windshield does not have much clutter on it. Um, there's uh, there's a reason for that. I wanted as much visibility outside as possible. And right now, I'm relying primarily on the QC, the Qualcomm 4 navigation. I do use my phone. You'll see my phone here. Uh, tucked away. I chose that on purpose. I just didn't want to be messing with my phone while I was driving. But I do use it on occasion with a app called Trucker Path. I find that real useful to find uh, creative parking spaces, especially at night when the truck stops are full or if I'm done at a shipper receiver and I've got to get to, uh, to a safe place to park. The next thing you might notice here is my uh, dash cam and so that is a uh, black view 900x something or other plus and i've got it set up to use the 12 volt plug in here now i do plan on connecting it to the fuse box to enable parking mode parking mode is already uh, enabled but because of the way the voltage works, it kind of flips back and forth on its own after the truck is turned off. And I think with parking mode, when it's connected to the fuse box, which is just underneath this panel right here, it'll more permanently select parking mode when the truck is off. And again, I'll go ahead and review that for you guys uh, in a future video. Uh, moving on, so I've got here on the floor, I've got some uh, carpeting. Um, some uh, mats that I bought it at uh, Walmart and uh, I've also got here the uh, sort of uh, quick access tray um, with some things that I use while I'm driving so I don't have to get up or pull to the side and stop. Um, I've got my permit book right here uh, within reach and uh, one of the nice things about these mats is that they collect a lot of the debris from the outside and so Whenever I need to clean it, all I've got to do is uh, shake them outside. Sometimes, uh, like for home time, I'll go ahead and throw them in a the wash. They are washable. In fact, there's another carpet that I've got here. Um, and that one's washable as well. Um, so it makes it real convenient. 
Moving on here to the passenger side. Because I'm rolling solo right now, the passenger side, I seldom get in and out of the truck from this side, so it serves as extra storage, which is nice. You'll see here I've got my shower bag. I've got the uh, Prime Heavy Duty Waterproof Coat High Viz. I've got um, headsets and some jumper cables and some tools beneath that. Moving on, uh, you'll see here, this is where I keep um, all of my bills, um, some keys, wallet, that good stuff. And above here, you'll see uh, I've got my uh, dust buster. Uh, this one's nice, it's an 18 volt, so that battery works with a bunch of the uh, other Ryobi tools. And uh, the suction power on this thing is absolutely crazy. Uh, across the top here, I've got some bags, some heavy duty bags for when I clean out the trailer. Um, some gloves. I've got my high vis vest, which is important. Got my coat. Now I'm in SoCal right now and it's hot. Um, it's probably 85 degrees outside right now, sunny. Absolutely beautiful. It's December 2nd, so it's a nice reprieve from the East Coast or the Midwest where it's cold and dark already. Let's see here. Uh, got cabinets here, uh, some cleaning supplies. And on this side, I've got my workout stuff. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, move on to the back to the uh, sleeper berth area. Now, you'll see here again, I've got my uh, carpet. You'll see my, my triangles, my emergency triangles are out. I had to use those a few days ago, and so they just remained out. I plan on storing them back underneath the bunk. I can tell you right now, the bottom bunk has got things like chains. It's got my, uh, what else have I got in there? I've got the chains, I've got cables, I've got fluids, spare windshield wipers all sorts of good stuff. I've also got several gallons of uh, drinkable water that I store there for emergencies or whenever I run out of the uh, bottled water that I use here on the truck. It also helps to helps me to, to wash uh, utensils and I mainly just wash that Instapot. You can see it up there. I use that Instapot, it's the eight quart, which is pretty big. But uh, you know, I grew up in a Latin household. I eat rice you know, all the time, if not every day. And so I'll make a huge pot of rice, and then I'll store it in gallon uh, Ziploc bags, um, in the freezer bags, but uh, I'll put them in the fridge. And it's good for a good uh, week or so. So, you know, I'll make a big batch, it'll last me the whole week, it's, it's real nice. Speaking of kitchen stuff, so I've got here the, this retro fridge, you'll see that this is this fridge is a, a little bit bigger than the typical fridge you'll see in the uh, in these trucks. This one's about, I want to say four and a half to five cubic foot total freezer and uh, fridge space. And I like the, the retro look, you know, I keep all my uh, food in there. Like I said, my rice. And I got the matching microwave. You know, this is a 0.7 cubic foot microwave and it's 700 watts. So it's nice for the, uh, the inverter. Uh, which is located here to the left of the microwave, or the fridge, I mean. But it isn't the biggest microwave that'll fit in there. You can probably fit a one cubic or 1.1 cubic foot. You just gotta keep in mind the uh, the wattage, especially the peak wattage, as it starts, um, it could trigger your, uh, your inverter. So up top here, I've got like food items, Let's see here, moving on to the top here, I've got my Iceco freezer cooler. I've got it set at five degrees, actually I think it's set at zero degrees, but it fluctuates. And that's where I store meats and beans and, and things that I like to keep over the course of two months while I'm out on the road. That way I'm not having to cook so much on the truck. If I'm doing something during downtime, that means I'm not, you know, there's an opportunity cost as far as not being able to do something else. So if I can save time with a lot of this prep work at home and then just reheat it in the microwave while I'm on the truck, then, you know, it just, it saves me more times 
it saves me more time and allows me to be more available. Um, so we'll go on the bottom part of the sleeper berth. You'll see this bed. It's a twin size, extra long, I believe. And, uh, you know, I'm 5'9", 5'10", so, you know, I can lay across and my head and feet don't touch the ends of the bed. There's even additional space over here. The way that I like my bedding, it's it's real light. The Webasto heater, or Webasto, I'm not even sure how, how it's pronounced. That heater is separate from the AC system and it keeps the truck really hot. And then the AC is off the charts. I mean, it, it gets the truck extremely cold. So what that means is I don't really need a lot of bedding to control my body heat while I'm sleeping. I like to sleep real light. If I've got a layer up, throw on a hoodie, throw on some sweatpants, I'll do that if I need to. But other than that, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna find myself under a mountain of bedding. It's just extra stuff that I've gotta carry and accumulate and gets in the way. So I've got my laptop back here. Of course, you know, you can see that there's extra space beyond, I'd say almost a foot of extra space beyond the foot of the bed or the mattress. Um, my laptop bag and all my electronics, or a lot of my electronics. I've got a laptop bed table that I uh, that I can use. Uh, it allows me to use a laptop with an external mouse to the right, and uh, it helps with video editing. It helps with you know my QuickBooks. Um, it's just a lot faster than using the trackpad. Um, you'll see that I don't have a TV in here. I don't have my PS4. I really want to get the PS5. But um, I'm telling you, if I'm not driving, I'm probably asleep or eating, which means that I'm standing up. Um, there's just not a lot of downtime. I've got some working surfaces here. So those wood tables, I use those for, you know, anything from uh, preparing food to, you know, if I need some extra writing surface uh, when I'm doing my bills and paperwork for work. Um, going back up top here, I've got all my uh, duffel bags. It's a lot, that's a lot of duffel bags, but I'll tell you, if I don't have to do laundry when I was teaming or when I was in TNT, stopping for laundry was actually kind of a, a pain, you know, but it was a necessity. And so if I can stay out two months at a time and bring enough clothes with me such that I don't need to do laundry, trust me. Um, I'm gonna do it. Uh, so I've got my Instapot up there. I got the uh, Ryobi blower, cordless blower. That thing's nice, especially, uh, you know, if I don't have blood and guts in the trailer, um, you know, blowing out some debris makes it real easy. I've tried sweeping out. I've got a sweeper too, but there's a big lip at the opening of the trailer. And so if you try to sweep out any debris, it, it becomes a, a real hassle. Whereas the blower, man, that just, it blows it right out and it's real nice. What else have I got? Uh, up here, I've got just like basic utensils and whatnot for uh, food stuffs. Here, I've got more clothes. Um, and uh, of course there's the, uh, the pull out tray, which I use for obviously anything that requires a hard surface well guys that pretty much sums up the tour of my truck named pumpkin spice if you guys have any questions make sure you put uh your comments below um and uh feel free to reach out to me via the phone number and email that i've got listed uh, outside of that remember no matter what happens Tomorrow's always a new day. Stay safe out there and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.